What's good, YouTube? I'm Davey Jenks. I'm a trap metal artist and producer from Ashtabula, Ohio, and you're watching Concert Junkies with Rob and John. Be sure to smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Leave a like and comment down below. Let's get it. I suppose I should start from the beginning. And the beginning of where I'm at currently it really begins with my friend QPAT, my homie, my brother, QPVT, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, SoundCloud, Spotify, you can find him, QPVT, and he got signed to Music Fiends Promotions, and he put a bug in their ear about me, which ultimately led to them signing me. The way I met him a few years back, we were supposed to play a show on Halloween together. And his ride bailed on him. Now, I had never met him before. I'd heard of his music. But I'd never met him before. But his ride bailed on him and I drove five hours out to Chillicothe to pick him up. Drove another two and a half to Akron to play the show. Played the show. Had a great time. And then drove him home and then drove back to Ashtabula. And it's been a wrap ever since. And he's had his, he's had my back through everything. So shout out QPAT. Shout out Gaines. Shout out Captain Dab. And shout out Music Fiends Promotions. What inspired me to get into music initially comes down to three people. Corey Taylor and the Insane Clown Posse, Violent J and Shaggy Too Dope. Corey Taylor taught me how to rap. The second verse to Heretic Anthem is the first verse I ever learned to spit word for word in a rap, like a rap style flow. My introduction to Insane Clown Posse came later on. My, my dad was dating a woman whose son introduced me to them. And I was into horror movies and all this spooky stuff growing up. And they did their aesthetic, their vibe, their everything that encompassed Insane Clown Posse came together in what I thought was perfect. It, it's the it's you're marrying music and theater. And that is what I ultimately set out to do when I got older. And that's what I'm working towards now. You know what I mean? And they also have messages in their music. Slipknot as well. Stone Sour. Every project that Corey Taylor has been involved in. I can't give enough props to Corey. Never met the man. Probably never will. But shout out to that man. Thank you. And shout out to the Insane Clown Posse and Psychopathic Records. I'll keep it all the way hot with you. Um, COVID is pretty much stomped on my touring dreams right now. But um, I was I was scheduled to tour with QPAT this past summer. But we see how that turned out with the lockdown and with the pandemic and all of that stuff. But on tour, what I would probably need to bring with me I don't really I pack light I'm a utilitarian individual um, the, the bare necessities the toothbrush the shampoo the conditioner body wash my loofah so I can scrub my nasty pits you know the regular stuff man clothes on my back food in my stomach and let's get this stuff done let's rock these crowds Let's see them pits open up. Man, I can't wait to get back to that. Let's get it. This year, this next coming year, 2021, I want to see everybody, everybody, at a Davy Jenks show. Absolutely nothing. I would prefer to do absolutely nothing else. There's nothing else I want. There's nothing else I need to do. This is a hill I'm going to die on. I'm going to be 
a musician, I'm going to be an artist, I'm going to be a performer until the day I stop breathing. There's no question about it, and there never was. I've always wanted to, to be in the entertainment industry, and once I got into music, I dedicated everything to it. I've lost and sacrificed everything to do this, and this is what I'm going to do, and I know exactly how I'm going to get it done. And if I die before any of this becomes solidified, I'm going to live on after that. I'm the ghost in the machine. There's no backup plan. There never was, there never will be. My favorite venue to play would be the Vortex in Akron, Ohio on Britain Road. The best bartenders, the best drink deals, the best food, the best shows. Andrew Ledger is the best club owner I have. Like, he is the nicest dude. He's the coolest dude I've ever met. I am, bro, every time I play a show there, which is a lot, they haven't been playing any shows this past year. They won't be until probably January, February of next year. But the Vortex is my go-to. And always will be. It's just, the, it's just the best place I've ever played. I've played a few different venues. You know, I've played in Cleveland quite a bit. I've played in Columbus. Nobody stacks up. Nobody. Believe it or not, the first concert I ever went to was actually, uh, it was Psychosis and Metal Mafia. At the Cove in Geneva, Ohio, 2012. And I was there with my girlfriend at the time. And my cousin, actually, my, my cousin kind of chickened out of the costume contest they had that night. And he would have won because my he's artistic. He's an, he's an artist. You know, he's a visual artist. Like, his makeup and stuff like that, that night he was on point. And he would have won the costume contest, hands down. But he chickened out. But, you know, we were young, so what do you want? You know, what do you want? Um, but actually, the funny thing is, one of my best friends in music used to be the sound guy. And the, the guy who played the synthesizer and the keyboard and all that, he used to do all that stuff for the headlining band, Psychosis. And years later, we linked up and did a bunch of collabs, and we did a bunch of, like, we started a side project called Trunk Corpse. Like, he's the co-founder of Corpse Gang. Shout out Brandon Vincenzo. I love you, brother. But, yeah, like, I'm, like, I didn't meet him until years later. But it's just so weird. It's like synchronicity. It, it, like, we just linked up later on, and it was, it, it's just the strangest thing. But, um... The first CD I ever bought, my dad actually bought me from, if you remember, Ames. I don't know if many of those still exist, but we had one out here. Uh, it was the album Sinner by Drowning Pool. Y'all remember that. You look at me, but you don't see. Understand, I'm a sinner. You know, and everybody knows bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the body sit the, you know, everybody knows that song, even if they don't know the band. But that was the first album that I got was Sinner by Drowning Pool. And that album still slaps to this day. To this day, that album still, still slaps harder than most anything. <clears throat> as far as... Uh, bands or artists that I would like to play with and the venue I don't really care about the venue so much I prefer a smaller venue so everybody's closer together it's a more personal experience but uh, I really like to play a show with uh, Washington DC artist Kami Yada Space God Kami shout out to Space God Kami and Midnight Society um, but I would only do that show if I could have Q-Pat and I Am Blaze, shout out my homies on the bill, 
as well as a couple others. But um, yeah, that's, as far as that goes, uh, Kami, I Am Blaze, and Q-Pat would be the artists I want to turn up with that night. And I don't care about the venue. I really don't. I don't care how big or small it is. I don't care if there's five people or 500 people or 5,000 people. I don't care. It's all the same show. It's the same energy. You know, full throttle the whole night. No breaks. We in there. Them pits are open. People are crashing into each other. Bodies are flying. And that's the way I like to keep it. That's the way I like it. You know, if I got a wireless mic, I'm down there in the pit. There's n there's no if ands, or buts about it. It's, it's all about the personal connection. Whether it be mentally or physically, we're going to connect. You know, and that's what this is all about. I'm for the people, the people are for me. Not much else I can say about it. As of right now, with everything going on, you can find me January 30th. That's my father's birthday, RIP my dad. At the McAlpine Meadery in Beach City, Ohio, we're doing a Joy of Equality event specifically for Black Lives Matter because no lives matter until Black Lives Matter. We're going to have a guest speaker. We've got Metal Mafia headlining. I'm one of the opening acts. We're going to have a great time. And it's just, it's just going to be good vibes all night long. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, YouTube. Look me up. Davy Jinx D A V I. J I N X and that is official. I'll see y'all next time. I love you.